Hello there, I will now show you how to install and use Xlot Gen. This is the generator for far distance terrain, textures and models for your game. It will create superior far distance terrain models and textures, LOD or LOD. The generated LOD will be based on your mod list for perfect match. Please regenerate LOD with Xlot Gen each time you make any changes to exterior world. Please always regenerate Xlot Gen before regenerating Dindulot. Now I will use the Tuko guide as a script, but also give you some general information if you are maybe not using this guide on how to use Xlot Gen. So first of all, let's use the Tuko guide as a script here. We start with mod organizer. So if you use Majestic Mountains or its lot pack and terrain lot redone, these are pre-generated LODs by the author of Majestic Mountains, Tag Trimer. To create our own far distance terrain textures and meshes, we will not use uh, his pre-generated stuff. We will use Majestic Mountains, but we will not use Majestic Mountains LOD pack, and nor we will use uh, terrain LOD redone, so please deactivate both of those. Next up we will go here, this page will open and we will download the Xlot Gen Beta current version, might be newer when you watch this video. Then scroll down and also get the SSE Terrain Temriel.esm. We will extract Xlot Gen latest version to the place where we keep our Skyrim tools. In my case, it's install key Skyrim mods SSC. I open the archive and it contains the subfolder Xlot Gen. I will extract it here. And I ended up having now this new folder Xlot Gen over here. Now let's take care of the SSC Tamriel ESM. I downloaded it here as well to my Skyrim mods SSC. It's here. I will right click it, 7-zip and add to archive. Normal compression level is enough. Click on OK and you will get this file. SSC Terrain Tamriel 7-Z. Now what I will do is open my mod organizer and go to my downloads tab here. And I will drag this 7-Z into my downloads. As you can see, I have my files sorted by file time, it's the newest file, so it appeared on the top of the downloads. Now I can double click it, name it accordingly, check manual if it's correctly structured, and click OK for install. It will appear on the bottom, I will tick it and move it above my static mesh improvement mod. Now after activating the new ESM, I go to plugins and I see the new ESM is over here. It was like pre-sorted for me, but anyway you need to sort load order with loot now. It's enough if you click the sort button here. And then the SSE Terrain Tamir ESM should be in this place. Time to create the executable shortcut in Mod Organizer for Xlot Gen. Click the drop down here, click on Edit, enter the title Xlot Gen. Now navigate to the binary where you have extracted the tool and select Xlot Gen X64.exe. Now you have to select a place on your hard drive somewhere where Xlot Gen will create its output. I have chosen my K drive Xlot Gen output. So I go inside, click here, copy the path. Back to Mod Organizer 2, I will put in arguments. In the arguments for Skyrim Special Edition we write minus SSE space minus O, then this sign and this sign, no spaces here, then the path that we copied out from the place where we want the output to happen and this sign again. Now the options are ready and we can add the executable and close. One more thing we will do to conclude the Axelot Gen installation is click anywhere 
in your left pane of mod organizer. All mods create empty mod x load gen output. Then activate this mod and move it below your FNIS output and before your text gen and dindulot output, if they are already there. That is it for the xlot gen installation. We have got our empty xlot gen output mod here. We have got our xlot gen configured in the executables here. And also we have the SSE Terrain Temriel installed here. In the next video I will show you how to perform the xlot gen generation. <laughs>